So today for this Ask Me Anything, as I've already mentioned, I'm going to be giving you examples of nervous system retraining drills. Okay, so today I'm answering a question that I previously got that was posted in my Facebook group. And like I said, if you're not in the group, um, please request to join. And there is a post inside that group pinned to the top where you can also ask me anything. And if it's a good question, I will um, respond by um, doing a live. Okay, so like I said, today I'm answering this question. Can you give an example of the drills that you use for nervous system retraining or for retraining the nervous system? And the answer is yes, yes. I love this question. I love the enthusiasm because it shows me that you are super interested in getting into the nitty gritty. How do I solve this problem? It shows me that you already do have an understanding of yes, something is going on in my nervous system and I'm ready to address it. And I'm ready to be proactive and do something about it. So if you're new around here, if you're not sure who the heck I am, if you're just showing up on TikTok live for the first time, you're like, who the heck is this girl? I am Alyssa Wolf. I'm a chronic pain specialist, and I am the founder of a 16-week program called the Chronic Pain Breakup Method that will help you retrain your nervous system so that you can beat your pain naturally using principles of neuroscience. And if you've been around in my world for any length of time, you know, and you can see that I talk a lot about the importance of nervous system retraining, but I rarely share examples of what that involves. And the reason why, the reason why I'm very careful about how I share these drills is not because I'm selfish with the information. The reason, the reason I am hesitant to share, um, is because I would be doing a disservice to you if I gave you examples of the nervous system retraining drills without context or without the container to properly teach them or the system and the support that's needed to help you succeed with them. And so you can kind of look at it like this, like if I were to just list off what those nervous system retraining drills are, this would be like me giving you a low carb recipe because you said you wanted to lose weight. That recipe won't teach you why you haven't been able to lose weight. It's not going to teach you the skills you need to make lifestyle modifications that will allow you to be consistent and have a lasting impact, right? That recipe isn't going to teach you how to make your own low carb meals and piece together different foods to make healthy, balanced meals every meal of the day. That recipe isn't going to change your relationship with food or teach you why a low carb diet is a good thing. And ultimately that recipe isn't going to help you lose weight. So hopefully you can see what I'm saying. When these drills are taken out of the, out of context, out of the whole approach, the drills themselves don't offer you very much. And my fear, the worst case scenario in my mind is that you'll try to find out about them, find information out about them online. You spend too much time looking for that free, cheap information. You'll dabble with them a little bit, and then you'll give up very quickly. And then you will add yet another failed treatment to the list of things that don't help with your pain, adding to those feelings of defeat, adding to the failure and frustration. And I genuinely do not want that for you. That is my biggest fear with giving examples of what the nervous system retraining drills are, because I don't want you to try something else and fail again and throw out the whole idea of nervous system retraining and say, oh, I tried that and it didn't work and then move on and continue to say that nothing works for my pain. Nervous system retraining does work, but it has to be done in the right context with the right system and support in order to be successful. Okay. Now I understand that you want to know what's inside the program and you want clarity so that you can decide if this is really something new or if it's something that you have tried before. Am I right? 
So I am going to share some examples of the nervous system retraining strategies and drills that I teach in my program, but I want you to understand that in my experience, these drills will not be effective out of context or outside of a container for them to cor be correctly taught and truly implemented. Okay. So um, the first thing to understand about nervous system retraining is that it's not just something you learn or do a couple of times and then get it and expect a quick fix, right? So in order to see results, we need consistent impl implementation, okay? So let's get into it, shall we? I'm sure that's what you're all waiting for um, after that long-winded rant, um, but I had to do it, I had to rant. Okay, so the way that I look at nervous system retraining drills is I like to break them down into two categories. Okay, we have a bottom up and we have top down. So we have bottom up techniques or those that address the signaling pathways in our nervous system from the bottom up, starting at the level of the tissues and the peripheral nerves. And then we also have our top down strategies or the drills and strategies that um, will address the signaling pathway of our nervous system from the top down. Sorry, if you hear my son crying in the background, um, he's with the nanny. <laughs> um, but of course, he's in the room right next door, so you're going to hear him. But um, so from the top down being our second category of strategy. So they address retraining the nervous system from the brain, basically, right? So Bottom-up strategies are those that are going to slow down the signaling of um, our nerves and slow down the signaling and sensitivity of the peripheral nerves, right? So bottom-up strategies are the things that are going to decrease the sensitivity of our nerves so they're less likely to send a danger message. One example of a bottom-up method, and you may have heard of it, you may not have heard of it, um, you may have tried it, you may not have tried it, but they are nerve mobility drills, okay? We can decrease the sensitivity of our peripheral nerves by getting them sliding and gliding properly and providing them with safe movement, with space and lots of oxygenated blood. I hope my son's okay. <laughs> um, but when nerve mobility drills are done correctly, nerve mobility drills will actually change the sensors on our nerves, lower the baseline electrical activity in the nerve and make them less sensitive, which means it will take a larger stimulus to get it to fire, which is exactly what we want. We want to uh, increase the um, uh, ability to, for our nerves to, um, Sorry, I'm super distracted by my son crying. Uh, basically, we do want to um, lower the, uh, we want a larger stimulus to stimulate our nerves so that they're not constantly firing with such small stimuli. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so now with that being said, most of the time, or almost all of the time really, I've seen nerve mobility drills being taught incorrectly by physical therapists. And I could say that because I am a physical therapist, I learned them incorrectly. And when these drills are done incorrectly, they have the opposite effect that we want. When they're done incorrectly, they will increase the sensitivity of our nerves. So we need to be a bit careful about how we do them, okay? So nerve mobility drills are one example of a bottom up nervous system retraining drill. Okay. Then we have our top down nervous system retraining drills, which basically help rewire and reorganize the activity in our brain. Now, this is not about retraining your thoughts or shifting your focus, and it's not about your feelings and emotions. Okay. We are not retraining you to think your way out of pain. The way these drills work is by activation of mirror neurons and activations, uh, I'm sorry, activation and restructuring of the sensory cortex, okay? So that you can change, so you, you can actually change the activity and structure in your brain with these drills. They will help you decrease the sensitivity of the central nervous system, AKA central sensitization so that you can then improve your movement and activity tolerance and strength and coordination 
and all of that without causing pain flare-ups, okay? So in my program, I teach some super easy top-down drills. Some examples of some of these brain-based drills include left-right discrimination drills, motor imagery drills, sensory discrimination drills, and mirror therapy drills, okay? Normally, these drills are practiced in a particular order to avoid making pain worse and are, and they're also progressed when certain requirements are met, all right? Of those drills, you may have heard of mirror therapy because it was originally used to treat phantom limb pain in amputees. And if you don't know, amputees will commonly experience pain and other unpleasant sensations in the missing limb. The issue is while the limb may be gone, that body part in the brain is still there and it still becomes active. So in the same way, mirror therapy drills can retrain the brains of amputees. Mirror therapy can be used to retrain the brains of anyone with chronic pain. Okay. So then the left-right discrimination drills and the motor imagery drills really work by activating those mirror neurons in our brain and help to tease apart the connections between movement and activity from the pain pathways. Okay. And then for the sensory discrimination drills, these are um, the ones that we use the different objects for and the paper clips for. Basically, the difference between sensory discrimination drills and sensory desensitization therapy is that we don't actually want to desensitize the brain. The brain does, doesn't need to be desensitized. It's actually already desensitized. We want to resensitize it. Okay. So that's what um, these sensory discrimination drills will do. They will strengthen the sensory cortex and make the brain better at correctly processing information from the body. Okay. So now I just gave some examples of top down and bottom up nervous system retraining drills, but it's important to note that there are lots of other strategies that we can use to promote and enhance nervous system retraining. Okay. So those are things like, um, pain neuroscience education, identifying factors that increase or reduce the sensitivity of the nervous system as a whole, performing uh, activity, movement, and exercise pacing, um, getting better sleep, using consistent routines, stress management techniques, using a pain journal, and then of course, doing some stretching and strength, strength and stability training, of course, right? All that stuff is going to further support the retraining of your nervous system. And all of those things, when they're put together, um, can really have an impact. Okay. And I've put all of those things together for you in my program, the chronic pain breakup method, which is a container that provides structure to it all. And it provides the support and guidance that's necessary to do more than just acquire knowledge, but really to implement, implement the drills and techniques consistently, which is necessary for long lasting improvements. And it's all organized for you so that you never have to think about what can I do to handle my pain? so that you'll never have to wonder, what can I do to prevent my flare-ups, okay? I want you to be successful. I don't want you to dabble with some drills or exercise a few times and then just end up saying, that didn't work for me, right? Like you have, you've done that with everything else. And even if you have tried some of these drills that I mentioned today before, the reason that they failed you isn't because they don't work. It's because they require consistency and you need to, you need the support and the system built around them to be, cons to be consistent in order to really see those results because they do work when they're part of a bigger system. So if you're open-minded to trying something that's a little unconventional or um, not necessarily traditionally accepted because you're tired of riding the not so merry medical merry-go-round, and you want to attack your pain from all angles, if that's you, you've got to start retraining your nervous system. And I've made sure that you have, you get everything that you need to do that successfully in my program, the chronic pain breakup method. So your next step is to set up a call, 
set up a call with me. We will chat about where you're at with your pain, what you've already tried, and get you clarity on whether or not you would benefit from a nervous system retraining approach. I will, uh, if you're watching on Facebook, I will leave a link below in the comments where you can jump in and um, look at my calendar. Uh, if you're on TikTok, um, there's a link to book a call in my bio. Basically just click that link, pick a time that works for you. And it's that simple. Okay. I hope this is helpful for you to see some examples of what nervous system retraining is. Let me know if you have other questions about it in the comments. Otherwise we will talk soon and I will see you guys next time.